My name is Dan Mulholland. I'm 46 years old. Uh, I've been married to my wife Erin now for going on 23 years. I guess my relationship with Lego is probably a little bit more intense than your average person. I consider myself to be a, a pretty hardcore AFOL, that's an adult fan of LEGO. Favourite builds is a common question that I get asked a lot. Some of the favourite builds that I've created myself, my mocks or my own creations. My Hobbit Hole mock that I did is one of my favourites. Hobbiton is a special place to me and building that uh, little hobbit hole door to take to Lego Masters was right, kind of the epitome of, you know, some of my favourite things all wrapped into one. So this space in here is my happy space and it's just a space where I know that I can just sit and be free of everything else. So I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety more than 10 years ago. I had a complete mental breakdown and was diagnosed with PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. I joined the army when I was 17. I deployed overseas to a tsunami as a post-disaster relief mission and spent probably 10 odd years working in the ambulance service. As a result of some of the trauma that I witnessed, uh, unbeknownst to me, created a, an issue. It actually happened here in the living room. Uh, my oldest boy, Cody, uh, was he'd come home from school. He was getting changed out of his school uniform and all he did was take his belt off his waist and draped it around his neck. Um, when I saw that, I just had this vision of a job that I'd been to as a paramedic where a man had hung himself with his belt over the back of a door in his bathroom. Over the next few days, I basically felt like I was just crumbling. I lost all my self-confidence. I, I, did, I didn't know who I was anymore. I was, um, Within that week, I, I tried to keep doing things and I just couldn't do it. Ended up to a, a point where I didn't actually leave my house for three months. I was okay, but I wasn't okay. You know, I'd probably been hiding this stuff and pushing this stuff down for a very, very long time. learning the reasons why that happened through therapy. It was invaluable, it was life-saving. Without that, I probably wouldn't be here. True story. That's where a sort of smudge came into her own. She started coming to therapy with me from session number two. The actual physical building of Lego has been massively uh, helpful towards maintaining good mental health. Just being able to sit there with a predetermined set of instructions, a predetermined set of bricks, 
it made me sort of forget about whatever was outside you know made me forget about the rest of the world for that time that I was building because I just focus on the build I think about that time I sort of decided well that's it you know if I if I'm going to be honest I'm going to be honest with myself and I'm going to talk to people and share my experience and there was sort of like this epiphany moment of I have a reasonable sized Lego collection and it's not doing anything why don't I make this available for people to build for enjoyment and get some good out of it so that's where Brick Engaged came from We basically just sit in small groups and build Lego. While we're doing this, we have conversations about life skills, social skills, but where the levels come from me as an adult and these guys as kids is the Lego. It's in the middle. From there, we develop this friendship and it's, it's really heartwarming. One of the most important things that I think I get from the sessions, in all honesty, is the motivation to keep moving forward. Lego is a huge part of who I am. It's been part of my day-to-day -day life every day in some way or another for the better part of a decade now. Three. Two, one. It's a creative, artistic medium that you can create whatever you want with. Whether you want to play with Lego, or whether you want to play golf, or whether you want to play cricket, adults can still play. the kids toy aspect out of it. I'll debate that with you all day. thought that I'd kind of hit rock bottom when I didn't want to leave the house. But every now and then you just get this message, you know, a little bling on the phone, hey, how you doing? There's nothing they can do to make my day better, but that message made my day better. Never underestimate the power of just reaching out to somebody and asking, you know, how are you going? Hey, 